wait till you see what I got planned for this workout because it's going to be a total body workout. Yeah, let me get right into it. Let me show what we're doing first. Our two strength exercises. First up, our lawnmower pulls right and left. There's two ways that you can set this, this exercise up. So if you want less resistance, set it up this way. You want to hook the band onto the arch of your foot. All right? My left hand is going to hold the band. My right hand is going to be the puller. I'm going to slide my hand through the band so I can pull with my shoulder blade and not my hand. All right? If I want more resistance in this setup, I just shorten the band so that I have more resistance earlier in the motion. So that's the first way you can do it. The second way is to double it up. Slide the hand in both lengths, come back up, staggered stance, and you're pulling. Now, if you have a tough time balancing, widen this foot out, turn it sideways, so you can go ahead and get more balance. So that is your lawnmower pulls. When you switch, you just take it off your foot, hook it on your other foot, choose the resistance level you're looking for, and you're off, all right? Pulling it, all right? So there you go. I want you standing for this exercise because I need you to start engaging your hip because on the next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and do lateral squat chest presses. Let me show you what those look like. You're going to go ahead, put the band. Now, we've done chest presses already, so you know those. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put a lateral squat lunge with it, and you're going to come up pushing, all right? What that's going to require is you to start learning how to get rhythm, all right? So, drop down, set your hands, come up pushing, all right? Drop down, set your hands, come up pushing. That's going to be your lateral lunge, chest press. You're gonna love that exercise. The transition obviously is super easy. You just go to the other side after that. The two cardiovascular exercises. First one, we're gonna go elevated burpees. Now the key is, how high do you wanna be elevated? And that's gonna depend on what your back thinks of this, what your hamstrings can handle, all right? If I'm in this position and this is my burpee right here, I only have to get to here. My hamstrings have to stretch less back can stay nice and straight, and I can do my burpee right off of there. So that's one option of doing your burpee. Second option is to go a little lower. I've got the ball in here, so now I can go, it's a little unstable, all right, but not too bad. So now I can go here, burpee, bring it there. If I want to pick the ball up, I can, or I can just leave it there, come on up by myself. Back down the ball, burpee, back up. The tough one, Taking these babies. So now you're going to be almost to the ground. All right? Put the handles here. You'll notice my hands are always inside my feet. Don't let your feet get inside your shoulders. Keep them wide. That allows you to keep a good base of support. It allows you to take pressure off your back because your hips are wider. If you need to turn your feet out a little bit, do it. But remember, it's probably because your hips are weak or your hips are tight. You got to start stretching them. All right? So you're here. Right there, all the way to there, you're back up. If you want to bring the handles with you, awesome, bring them there. Notice where my feet land, by my hands, and then I'm up, all right? So there's your burpee. Our second exercise, we're going to use the low box. I've got a big board box here, but, you know, a Reebok board, anything like that will work. You're going to just place your hands on the board, or excuse me, on your hips. You're going to place your feet on the board, and you're just going to do a switch drill. All right, simple switch drill. Now here's what you can do. You can do just your feet. You can bring your hands in. So you start learning how to bring your rhythm in. You can put your hands in different positions and then bring your hands back in and then bring your hands back out. So by bringing your upper body in and out, it's gonna really challenge your rhythm and your control. There you go. I hope you're ready, because this is gonna be your first major test. This is gonna be a total body workout. I think you're going to love. Oh, this is going to be a fun workout, everybody. It's going to be a great workout because we're going to combine upper body, lower body combinations now to get a full body workout in through the whole workout. All right? We got lawnmower pulls first. All right? Staggered stance, lawnmower pulls. Hope you're ready to roll on that. I'm going to hit this, and I'm ready to go. Let's get yourself hooked up. Take the band. Hook it around. Now we're going to go one arm, just one band pulls first of all to make it a little easier with you. Slide your hand through. Set. Let's go. 
Now, get yourself in a nice staggered stance. All right, nice staggered stance. So you gotta work on balance. You're just holding the other band on your hand. If you want more resistance, you just shorten it up a little bit. Now you're going through a full range of motion on that other side. Come on, pull it up. You should start feeling that front hip getting loaded here. That's what I'm talking about, being a lower body, upper body exercise. Plus the staggered stance and doing it on one leg, it's much easier on your back. So, a lot more pulls. Nice job, finish up. That's it. Nice job. Transition is really easy. Just leave it in your hands, all right? Get that hand through, hook it over this way. Remember now, you set the resistance. If you want less, give yourself more band. Want more resistance, shorten it up. Balance. Move out a little bit. Keep that back foot in place. One more pulls. You don't have to be real bent over. Put your body at about a 30 degree angle and we're ready to go. Come on, long more pulls up. That's it. Nice. Shorten it up a little bit. If you want more resistance. Come on. Keep pulling. Very good. Finish strong. Load that front hip. Way to the end. You're out. It's burpee time. Now remember, we talked about it. I'm going, I'll show you three different levels. We're going here first. All right? Get your feet up here. Always get your feet right back to your starting position. Set. Let's go. Stand it up. Now, we're going elevated because that's easier on your back. All right? So you always go elevated burpees. We want no back stuff. Now look at though, when I get to here, look at how straight I am. Standing up, moving. That's it. Come on, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Don't spend a lot of time in any one position. Just keep going. Especially don't stand. Stand up and rest here. everybody. Set. Pull. Man, if you sand, you're not getting enough resistance. Double up the red. No worries over stretching it because you're only pulling it about two feet at the most. You're immediately going to see left hip is going to work harder now because you got a bigger resistance, especially pulling you down. That's it. Come on. You gotta stay with me. Keep hitting the reps. All the way up. That's it. Finish. Nice. Ooh. Transition is very easy. Bring it out. Alright? Hook it on your other foot. Put the loops together. Opposite hand goes through. Be ready to go. Dig in, set, let's go. I don't want you to migrate too far up now. So when you pull, keep that hand in contact with that knee so your upper body stays about the same spot. Oh, man, double resistance is getting after it. Let's keep going. We'll do another variation of burpees. Coming up. I know you're looking forward to that. That's it. Nice finish. Ah, wow. Burpees are gonna hurt the 
this time. My hips are a little, a little fatigued out. All right, we're gonna go a little lower, a little lower this time on our burpee. Feet up, set, let's go. Now, I got the ball, I can bring it with me if I want, or I can leave it there. It's only six pounds, but you know what? Just a little bit more effort. All the way up, feet all the way back, all the way up. Sometimes I get a little bit short on those. Make sure, all the way back, all the way up. Come on. All right. I'm gonna keep my eyes here, all the way up, all the way. Keep those eyes up. It's easy to wanna to put your eyes under your body. Let's go. Woo. One more set of pulls. You choose how you wanna go. But remember, if you're gonna go soft, you're not gonna get better. Go after it, push it a little bit. Come on, let's go. It's the last set of pulls. We're gonna hit our chest coming up. So finish off that back. You can tell, challenge you guys, very challenging. Cause I'm having to breathe, talk. And when my talking goes down, you know I'm breathing more, which means I'm working harder. Oh man, you feeling that left butt? Oh, I sure am. Oh, put my hand down here, stay there. Yeah, if I stay in contact with that, well, my right butt has to stay loaded. Oh. Oh. Wow, my glad that's done. Woo. Guys, it's genuine, baby. I'm working. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. Hook it. I'm not going to start there. I'll go there. Set. Starting here first. I'm gonna get to the halfway mark here, then I'm putting my hand on the ball to finish up the last set, because I wanna get better. How about you? Let's go. Ah, whew, 20 seconds. I think I got it left in me. Yeah, come on. All the way back. You gotta get back so you got resistance on it. Stopping halfway doesn't count. Oh, man, glad those are done. Oh, woo. All right, burpee time. I'm going lower this time. Bring my handles in. So I'm going down lower. You choose what you wanna do. Set, let's go. Hands up, make sure those feet get all the way up to your hands. Get in a nice deadlift position. Come on up. I always like to bring the handles with me instead of letting them go. Then I don't have to re-grip them. I just keep them in my hand. They're just part of me. Like this burpee is. Come on guys, it's our first round of this workout. I know it's brutal. Let's get after it. Let's finish up strong. Nice effort. Woo. I'm with you. I'm going all the way to the end. Nice job. You got one minute. Use it and then get back with me. Woo. All right. Let's get into round two. We're going chest presses, but we're adding a squat with it, all right? We're gonna squat left and come up pressing, then we're gonna squat right, come up pressing. Told you, this is gonna be a full-blown exercise for the whole body. Hands are through, set, drop down, I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. So we're doing a lateral lunge with a chest press coming out of it. Don't reverse it. Press it as you come up. You got it. We got it, come on. 
Push it on. Come on, finish that whole set. Excellent job. Nice finish. That's it. Push. Hit one more. Woo. Now make sure you're pushing when you come out of it. Push when you come out of it. Okay, we're going right this time. Be ready. Set. Squat. Come on, push it. I told you, we're gonna hit our back first. Now we're hitting chest. Now remember that, putting that little link in the middle of your band, I showed you about a workout so cool. You can do that with this. But what I find is the key is staying in your temple. So the tension on the band like this is more than enough for me. That's a great job. All the way up. Finish it. All right. Now, quick steppers. Yep, you're going on the board. You gotta switch your feet. Get some rhythm. Get yourself ready to go. Let's go. Switch your feet. You gotta go slower. Set your tempo. Nobody says you can't. Go one at a time, like that. But once you get your rhythm, see if you can put a couple together. Then can you put three together? See how you can work on your temple? And that's what everybody struggles with. They think they gotta go fast right away. Guys, control is metabolically fatiguing, guys. You'll burn fat with control because you're using the right muscles to do the right thing. Let's go. It's a nice job. Woo! Hey, we're back chest pressing. Let's go get it. Remember, left first, drop, come up pressing. I'm staring down. We're ready. Drop, up pushing. Drop, push, drop, push, drop, push. That's it. Gotta like squat presses. I like it because it gets everything involved. It's a much more enjoyable way to work your entire body. And guess how much athleticism you're working on right now? You're working on control here, explosion there. Keep your eyes up, press. You wanna push with open hands on this one? That's fine. It's like you're pushing a box out of the way. Pushing somebody out of the way. Woo. Lateral lunge. Bang. Bang. That's a nice job. Plus, we're working frontal plane. Guys, you can't always stay in a straight plane. Sagittal plane, straight ahead. You gotta get sideways. We're doing that. Sideways here, then the quick steps are back in that same straight plane. Mixing it up, baby. That's how you get athletic. Been doing it for years. It works, I promise you. I promise you it does. But you gotta wanna get your rhythm, get your integration. Hey, are you pushing when you're coming out of that squat? Or are you coming out and then pushing? Don't do that. Push as you come out. Push as you come out. Use your hips to explode out and give yourself some push. You're gonna notice one side works a little harder on your push when you're driving off your right hip than when you're driving off your left hip. That's why we go both ways. Whew. Come on, drive it up. Press it. Whew. Let's go. We got quick step. We got toe tappers. Yep. Toe tappers. Get your board. Don't make it too high. And let's get after it. Whew. Set. Let's go. Now, can you bring your hands into it? Yeah, can you bring your hands into it? 
Wow, you can do this. You got some serious rhythm, baby. Yeah, there's not a lot of people that can do that. Now can you go quicker? Speed it up. Now slow it down. And keep your rhythm. Keep your hands working with your legs. Best way to do that is let your hands move. Relax your shoulders. Stay tall. Now quick, 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 quick. And then stay balanced again. Start to lose it at any time. Stop. Get your balance. And get back into rhythm. Woo. That's it. Oh, lost it. Fatigue will do that. We got one more round. We got to go. All right? We got to go. Bring it in. Set it. Get ready to move. All right. Let's go. Drop and squat press. Just there. That's it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go. Let's go. Press it up. We'll wait for our timer to tell us, but we're moving. Want to put music to it? Put music to it. I don't care. Put to it. Come on. That's an outstanding effort. Let's go. Keep pushing all the way out. Drive out. Drive out. Work that chest. Legs are getting jammed on this one. We've gone a lot of work. But remember, we warmed up our hip with those rolls first. That's why we can do this now. Exactly. There's a sequence to these workouts. We try to activate specific muscles to get you set up for the next workout. All right? We got the hips activated during our rowing. And we got our shoulders activated when we did those burpees, remember? So then we could push in this next set and we could lateral lunge and take, handle those ground reaction forces. I know, you're saying, dude, I'm just working. I understand. But I'd like to tell you why we put things the way we do. Press it out. Press it out. Come on. It's our last set. We're going to finish this. We're going to get 20 more seconds. And we're going to be excited about it. Because we're burning big time calories with one band. Could you imagine using heavier bands with some of this stuff? It'd be great. And it's an option. Yep, it's an option. You always can use heavier bands to push yourself. You want to do more strength, absolute strength, working it. All right, I'm going to start with the easy version with my hands on my hips. That's where I'm going to start. Get my feet going first. Set. We're going to get our feet going first. Now we got our feet going. Now let's bring our hands into it. Now, can we go ahead and put our hands in different positions and then bring them back in? Yeah. Take them away. Take them away. Take them away. And then bring them back in. Look at that. See how you start to get athletic? Oh, you lose it like that? Stop and bring it back in. Nothing wrong with that. Happens. Let's take it to the end. Woo! Good finish. Good finish. Wow. What do you think? Was that a total body workout or what? It was for me. I hope it was for you. Enjoy it. Have a good, great day. Thanks for joining me for an awesome workout.